Officials with the Parks and Rec Department tell me it's a number of factors, including establishing a great work environment. Now, it's not only the Parks Department that's thrilled to have lifeguards here at the beaches this summer, it's also families. Uh, oh, no, I don't want to get splashed. <laughs> There's no shortage to this summer fun. Show me, dump it. Whoa, yeah. But there has been a shortage of lifeguards to monitor beaches and pools throughout western Washington, leading to closures, like in Seattle, which closed three of its nine guarded beaches. A lot of work goes into it. It's not something we just turn on the switch and have lifeguards show up. John Loy, the deputy director with Kirkland's Parks and Community Service Department, says thankfully, the city's three swimming beaches and pool will be open fully staffed with 90 lifeguards this summer. We need that many to staff all four areas at the same time. Um, they're all open uh, seven days a week throughout, throughout the day in various hours. He believes the reasoning behind the city's success of hiring and retaining lifeguards are the opportunities to rise through the ranks and the competitive wages the city offers compared to other summer jobs, ranging from $18.50 to $28 an hour. We're not trying to be the top position out there, but we're certainly not trying to be the bottom position either. So we try to find find that happy medium that works within our budget, but also is attractive enough to get those guards to, to apply for the position. Oh, oh, splash, watch out. <laughs> Families I spoke with say they feel much more comfortable soaking up what these beaches have to offer throughout the summer with lifeguards on duty. Big thanks to the city of Kirkland for getting that together. And that again, when you hear those parents like, oh, there's a lifeguard short, that's, you know, that's nerve wracking. That's, that's, that's something that you look at and it's like, we probably wouldn't go to a beach, actually, to be honest, if there wasn't a lifeguard. So we'll come back here just because of that. And you may remember late last month, Juanita Beach was closed for about a week due to bacteria levels. Now, parks officials tell me when that happens, the lifeguards usually assigned here will be reassigned to other beaches during the closure. For now, live in Kirkland, Brady Wakayama, King 5 News.